Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So today I will be going over all of the trophies that I've achieved of getting within Rise of the Ronin. Now, there are in total of 51 trophies, such as 1 Platinum, 2 Gold, 9 Silver and 39 Bronze trophies. It took me almost 50 hours trying to get this Platinum. Nevertheless, it is an easy experience, that is of course if you choose to let it be, because you can actually play this game on the easiest difficulty, since there's no trophies tied to that. Before I proceed, do check out my full review for Rhines of the Ronin that I have uploaded a video recently. First trophy I got, Threads of Fate, by established your first bond. Now this trophy will automatically come to you when you're playing the game. Afterwards, Flying the Nest, cleared the prologue. And the third trophy, Home Sweet Home, achieved your first level 3 area bond. It's basically completing one of the sections within the map, and there's an area, as long as you pick up the collectibles, including you fight off specific enemies and main targets, and basically you will get this naturally, and it's quite easy. Fresh Start remodeled your longhouse for the first time. I actually wanted to try it out and see how it works, and then I got this trophy. Collector earned your first completion reward by, well, receiving a reward. Firearm Genius received the highest rank Master in Firearms Training. Very easy to do. I think I got this on my second attempt. Curtain Falls, Curtain Rises learned that your Blade Twin is still alive as a part of the story. One good turn deserves another gave your first gift and with this bond system you can interact with your friends, so to say. And you can also give them gifts. Shadow Stalker succeeded in carrying out 100 assassinations. My main playstyle is more of an assassin type and sneaking through, and this is why it was quite easy for me to get this. Winged Warrior received the highest rank Master in Gliding Training. I got this on my fourth attempt, but also is because I think I was doing this on a different area, so it was a little bit more challenging. Nevertheless, I still got it. Lifesaver completed a no-kill mission objectives. It's basically when you're playing through the main story, there will be specific missions and they will have a special optional objectives. And when you do so with no-kill mission objectives, then you will get this trophy. So it will come naturally. Resonance equipped four or more pieces of equipment with the same set bonus for the first time. So each equipment armor, anything really, comes with a set bonus. If you equip the same set bonus on multiple of equipments and armor and weapons and whatnot, then you will get this trophy. So keep playing the game, pay attention to this sort of thing, you will get this. Infiltrate the prison complex made your way to Shoin Yoshida is a part of the main story. A happy memory took a photograph at the request of Taka Moriyama. I believe this is a part of the side quest and as soon as you take the photo of her, then you will get the trophy. Black Ship's Long Shadows cleared chapter 1, a part of the story. Contraption Creator conducted technology developed 15 times. This trophy was a pain. First of all, I did not know I even got this trophy, because near the end of the game I was specifically going for this trophy, until I realized that I already had this trophy. <laughs> and on top of that, this trophy popped up when I had like about, what, 7 or 8 technology developed, which is weird. Keeper of the Peace defeated 50 fugitives. Now these fugitives are special markers within the map, and as soon as you defeat them, you will get this trophy. Horseback Hero received the highest rank Master in a Horseback Archery. Now this is very specific, you have to get on target every single bullseye more or less. And as soon as you do, you will get this trophy. It is easy done, but there's a little bit of a trial and error. Meeting Kaishu Katsu, spoke with Kaishu Katsu at the Sumida River, again a part of the story. Striver's License received the highest rank Master at the Dojo. Now this was a little bit of a pain to get, unless of course if you looked up online and seen what you actually had to do. As long as you spam blocking and also counter attack movement, oh you can get this quite easily. Money bags saved 150,000 sen. Very easily. Done since by the end of the game you'll have more than enough. A show for the Shogun. 
Learn the identity of the mysterious samurai at the duel, again a part of the main story. Faithful Encounter achieved your first level 4 personal bond. As long as you interact with the characters and give them gifts, the level will increase and of course you will reach this level 4. Transfer of Power performed your first bond transfer. Again, this was more of an experimental, I wanted to see how it's done, and then I got this trophy. Strange Bedfellows brokered a truce between Roshigumi and the Goshi clan. I believe this is a part of the main story as well. Cities of Darkness cleared Chapter 2, a part of the story. The Satsuma Shochu Alliance persuaded Takamori Saigo, a part of the story once again. Fancy meeting you here had 50 chance encounters. This is a random encounters that you can have within the world. As long as you do them and make sure you actually pay attention to these. And as soon as you do them and complete them, you will get this trophy after 50 encounters. Martial Arts Maniac defeated enemies using every weapon. As it says, basically make sure you use a katana, you use dual swords and many other weapons. Good to go, upgrade your armor, weapon and sub-weapon. As it says, basically upgrade your armor, weapon and sub-weapon, well basically your ranged uh, weapon as well. Cheater Beater caught 5 cheaters while playing odds and evens. Very fun game, quite a bit of a RNG involved, but also there's a system that you can actually cheat, or at least you can spot the cheater. As long as you just say, oh I spotted someone, you don't even need to have proof. <laughs> and you just do this five times you get the trophy even though I actually did it three times and I got the trophy which is very odd solitary Ronin completed a mission without allies basically make sure you do not bring any of your allies into one particular any sorts of missions very easily it can be done but it can be a little bit challenging too well-rounded Ronin reached level 55. As long as you're doing all of the side objectives and main quests and just everything else within the world, you will get this trophy quite naturally. Farewell Black Cat saved Soji Okita's life. Now I made sure that I did every single side objectives and side of quests and I made sure to do for every single character. And by this time when I got this trophy, I already knew I was going to get it since I've been paying attention. Style Guru mastered three combat styles. Now, I got this naturally, but again, uh, you just, as long as you're going through all these trophies, you will get it. The Greater Opportunity saved Shinsaku Takasugi's life. Again, it's a part of the side objective, and basically, as long as you're going through them and paying attention, you will get this trophy. Twilight Fencer saved Ryoma Sakamoto's life. This is actually more or less of a main quest, and then you can get this trophy. The Battle of Toba Fushimi brought the Battle of Toba Fushimi to an end, part of the main quest. Veiled Vow started your first romantic relationship. It's basically, well, as it says, as long as your ally is bond level 4 and he or she likes you very much, you can see all this in the stats, then you can establish your first romantic relationship. Dawn of the New Japan cleared Chapter 3, part of the main story. A Veiled Edge's future sealed the fate of your Blade Twin. Basically near the end, you make the decision, kill or not, and then you'll get the trophy. Sightseer completed all photograph spots. Again, there's about, what is it, 45, 40? These photographs that you can make in spots, then you'll get the trophy. It's very easily can be done because there are markers on the map that you'll have to just simply go there and take photos. A Jack of One trade is a master of all, mastered one of the four stats types. As it implies, basically in the stats, you basically need to unlock one category. It can be strength, intellect, charm, whatever. Friendly Neighborhood Ronin completed all bond missions. It's basically side quests that you have to complete for your allied characters. Cats over all, collected all cats. There are in total 100 cats. Similar cases was done with the photographs. They're all pretty much markered around the world. Traveled through time, retried a mission for the first time using the statement of the soul. You will get this trophy naturally if you're going for the platinum and basically just redo a mission. Dive of the Ronin glided from the elevated deck at Kyomuzidera Temple. It's a certain spot that you'll need to jump off and glide from. I honestly don't understand what's the reference for this trophy, but nevertheless, it's quite simple. 
Social Climber took part in missions with all available allies. There are in total of 31, no, 32 allies that you can take a part of the missions and make sure that you have established the bond with all of them. Thankfully, you don't need to go like every single character with level bond level three, but instead they all can be level one. You going through the missions with every single one of them. And on top of that, you don't even need to complete the missions. Just simply start up and you can exit off and keep redoing it with every other character and allies, I should say. And I just like that, I got it, it was very simple. Tears of a blue demon managed to beat the blue demon aboard the black ship. The very first quest, and when you're facing a boss, defeat that main very first boss. Especially since you are way too overpowered at that point. Since you get to keep all your stats and progress that you've made while playing through the game. Midnight Crossing completed an optional Ronin mission with the Midnight difficulty setting enabled. So the very first quest that you can do is basically having a, a spar against friendly allies and your master. As long as you defeat them, basically you'll get this trophy very easily. And after that, I got the Platinum Trophy by the name of Rise of the Ronin by obtaining all the trophies. This whole list was actually an adventure. I have enjoyed going through this and it was not difficult. So do let me know down in the comments if you have already received a Platinum Trophy for Rise of the Ronin. Perhaps you're considering it. Maybe you didn't even pick up the game yet. Well, nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys all later.